there is an ocean of Notion templates out there. So this video is going to help you navigate through that ocean to avoid having that chaos in your Notion workspace. Okay, before let me tell you a little bit of background on how I was using templates from the beginning. When I started using Notion, I started downloading a lot of templates basically to see what was possible with the tool. So we can say that I did it for inspiration. But I have never used a template just as it was. I always had it in one side, check the formulas, check what they were doing, and then I was building my systems by myself. And now after a couple of years using Notion, my system is almost 99% complete. And yes, that is possible. So although there is always some room for improvement, I rarely download any templates. Just sometimes when Ben launched a new template, I will steal some formulas from him to build a Mario in my workspace or to learn any new concept that I can maybe implement into my system. But that is it. So now with this out of the way, let me give you some tips, depending on where you are in your Notion journey, that is going to help you know what to do with those templates. So I'm going to differentiate whether you are getting started with Notion and whether you already have some experience. So now first, if you're just getting started with Notion, the do's will be first, learn how to use Notion before using any templates. Templates can be very tempting, but please, please resist that temptation. Because if not, you are gonna be downloading a lot of templates, your workspace will be full of templates, and it's gonna be a chaos. So please download them mindlessly, just for the sake of learning. You can use the templates to see how they are connected, the formulas that they are using. So basically to learn what's possible with the app. And then what not to do, the don'ts. Again, don't start to use templates if you don't know Notion, because templates are not for newbies, are for people that already know how Notion works. And this is not very intuitive, right? But if you're a newbie, you will end up so frustrated by using other people's templates that you're probably going to stop using Notion altogether. And as I said, don't overcharge your Notion with dozens of templates because your mind will be all over the place. You will not know what to implement. So take a step back, think, okay, what do I need? Download it, study it, and learn from it. So the takeaways, if you are just getting started, you can use templates for inspiration and for learning Notion. Or conversely, you can have someone to teach you Notion step by step. I feel this is the only way that you are going to learn the app without feeling overwhelmed. So now what to do if you already have a system in Notion and you already know the ins and outs of the app? Well, as you already know how the app works, now is the moment in which you can just download a template that maybe will complement some of your systems and just plug it into the system. But for this, we will be needing to look for some templates that are a bit like Lego blocks. that are standalone templates that are just completely complementary to whatever system you are and you will just plug it and everything will work seamlessly. So an example for this will be if you have already a task management system, but you don't have a habit tracker and you want one, but don't want to spend the time to build it, but you already know how to use Notion. So in this case, you can easily find a habit tracker on the internet or the one that I built, download it and plug it into your system. And it's going to work because it's going to be very easy for you to understand how it works. And as long as there is a good onboarding process, then you are good to go. Another do will be if you are not completely satisfied with one of the systems that you have already built, but you cannot really think what's missing, you can download a template from another creator to gain inspiration and maybe that process that the creator has developed can make you understand what was missing in your main system. So therefore you will just copy bits and pieces from that template into your own process. But these are just for inspiration, not to be used. And now the don'ts, unless you are very, very, very dissatisfied with your current system, don't migrate to a new template. You'll be wasting a lot of time to set it up to maybe just improve your productivity by 5%. You'll have to migrate tons of data to the new system because you're a seasoned Notion user and probably you will already have much data there. Plus your brain is already used to working the way it was before. So it's gonna take you even more time to get used to that new system and that new way of working. So again, unless you are very dissatisfied, I wouldn't recommend you to migrate to any other system. And next, stop thinking there is always a better template, that there is always a better system. Because yes, there is, but that is not the important part. Chances are that you just need to look at your own system and find its shortcomings and then fix them. And how do we do this? with self-awareness. Whenever we feel that our system is not doing what we want for us, aka we are missing some step, we are forgetting to update some field, we just have to be self-aware of that and tweak our system a little bit. 
we don't need to look outside for inspiration. But the main takeaway will be to have more self-awareness and to look into our systems much more than we look to the other people's systems. Because most often than not, the solution is mostly inside. Oh, by the way, do you know which is the most viewed video in this channel? <laughs> is the one of my habit tracker templates. So if, if you've been looking for a habit tracker that you can just plug and play, I'm gonna leave a link, I didn't leave space, here. So you can check it out. And in this video, I give the whole walkthrough so you can see how that template works. So that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.